Hi, this is a vlog. I never do vlogs. My manager there, you see, she's stretching. She, she keeps telling me that I need to make more vlogs. It's good for the brand, I don't know. I don't like making vlogs. I'm not good at them, I feel awkward. But here we are. <laughs> it's a vlog. It's a vlog. <laughs> All right, so we're getting ready to go to New York for the open. Going with, going with Marcos. So the final countdown here, we're gonna, the dogs are gonna get go to um, their sitters. So, Sarah. We're goodbye. Say bye, Pachi. Bye, Pachi. Rivi. Hi, bud. Hello. What you doing there with your ball? I'm gonna go get your ball. I'm gonna get the ball. I'm gonna get the ball. Oh. He doesn't like when I get his ball. But yeah, today just uh, packing, dropping the, the children off, and then tomorrow we go to New York early, 5.30 in the morning. So we'll pick that up tomorrow morning. And it's 3.30 a.m. Time to head to the airport. Traveling to the, new, to new, the East Coast, it's like, it's like traveling to Europe. It takes like forever to get to the destination. Yeah. All right, this Let's looks go. dope. Woo! Oh, look at our little living room. This is kind of cozy. Oh, but there's like a nice, uh, yeah, nice table. Nice table. All right, we're out here in New York. We made it. Um, but going back to the vlog stuff, I never, you know, I never do vlogs because I never know really what to talk about <laughs> you know, all my videos are very well planned and usually vlogs are more run and gun plus like you know being outside with a camera like this woo what's up I'm a vlogger um, <laughs> it's it's always a little awkward I, I haven't gotten there yet so what I was thinking every time I do a vlog I'll pick maybe like a topic let's say you know talk about the US Open expectations or we can do Q&A so you guys let me know in the comments below uh, what would be some fun things that we could do in topics maybe like you know, it's just something that I want to talk about. If there's something that I want to talk about. I can make a vlog. Uh, it doesn't have to be like a full, like, you know, lesson video. That could be fun. But yeah, we're here to support Marcos. You know, I'm probably going to do some My Tennis HQ stuff as well, but we always want to support our friends when they're playing Grand Slam. So um, that's what we're going to do. We got a big crew. Uh, and if you guys are in, around, I'm going to post on, on social. But if you guys are around, you better come support Marcos. Tuesday, 6 p.m., Court 17. But yeah, I think for this vlog, let's just chat a little bit about the US Open, expectations, who I think is going to win it, um, who I want to watch, and obviously just the fun of being in New York. I've played the juniors here before, never played the pros, unfortunately, but um, been here a good amount of times for the for the tournament and obviously won it one time with Naomi, um, which was a crazy experience. Um, so I really love this tournament. I love to come here, um, spend a week. Hopefully we spend more than a week. Hopefully Marcos will be out here until uh, next week. So uh, let's go over that. All right, guys, back here with an expensive coffee and a nice uh, New York bagel. I guess one went in Rome, right? I'm out here with the New York noises, really bringing you into the New York experience, right? Listen to that, the peaceful, peacefulness of New York. All right, let's look over this draw here. Um, see some of the matchups that I'm, I'm liking. Some of the guys that I would want to watch uh, start. I think Medvedev, Kozlov, I don't think that will be too much of a problem for, for Medvedev. I'm interesting to see Ben Shelton, who's been playing some good tennis, um, just turned pro from college. So I think I think he's going to win that first round. 
Chinese kid, Yi Bing Wu, sorry if I mispronounced that. I think he's gonna take out Basilashvili. Um, interesting to see that match. Um, Kyrgios Kokinakis, I'm kind of unfortunate first round really. I like the, both of those players. I think it'll be entertaining, but uh, I wish it wasn't on, on the first round. Um, Karenio boosts the team, could be interesting depending on team, right? Two guys that um, I've played a bunch of times, but team not in great form. We'll see how that goes. Um, let's see here, anything else that I like. Ooh, Jack Draper and Rusovori, two young young guys that I think are good players. I think those are, that will be a uh, an interesting match to watch live. I'm sure you can watch them like on a on a small court. So I think that would be good. I think I personally think Draper is going to take that, but I might be wrong. Um, let's see. Uh, nothing that exciting. Nothing that exciting. Andy Murray. I always like to see Andy Murray uh, do well. Um, I think it'll take out Serendula, but we never know. Taylor Fritz and Brandon Holt, two guys that train um, in LA in Carson together all the time, so that'll be interesting. Obviously, Taylor Fritz way more experienced and um, probably will take that, but I think it could be a good match. Brandon is a great guy and it's also fun to watch. He's a very smooth, very clean hitter, so I think that would be actually kind of a cool match to watch. Obviously, Marcos Giron Tiafo, which we're going to watch tomorrow. I'm filming this on Monday, um, the day before Marcos plays, so that's going to be fun. But yeah, overall, good good amount of first round matches. I think first and second round matches are always the best because you get great matches on the smaller courts. So you don't have to be on stadium to watch good tennis. There's going to be good matches at smaller courts. I think that's those first few days at Slams are just the best for it to, to watch, you know? In terms of you know, who I think is going to make the finals. Unless Marcos takes out Rafa. I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how Rafa would not get to the finals. Looking at his draw, maybe Rublev if he's playing really well. I just, in best of five, I just don't feel like there's anyone that could take him out. The courts are playing really fast, um, as far as like Marcos told me. So that might help. Um, um, some of the other players against Rafa, but best of five, you know, he's, he's going to play himself into to form. I know he hasn't played that well and he was injured, but I, I, I find it hard to believe that he wouldn't make the finals here. On the other side, Medvedev has not been playing that great. There's, there's no clear, you know, TT hasn't, has never played that well here. You know, Felix is so up and down. I, I, it's just hard to predict who, who's going to make runs. Um, on the top draw, really, I could see you know a Sinner with the courts playing fast. I think Sinner could make could make a great run here. Um, obviously, Carlitos, but uh, he'll be playing what Rafa in the semis? Is that what it is? I think so. Yeah, it just seems like besides Rafa, it seems pretty open. And Car Carlitos has cooled off a little bit. I think everyone is a little bit cooler. Um, on that side, obviously, I wish Novak was playing. Um, Rube Hercax is a guy to keep an eye out. If the court's been playing really, really fast, this could be a guy to, to watch out for. But uh, tricky, tricky um, top top half here. Um, I don't know. I really don't know who's gonna make a run. I, I honestly keep an eye out for for Hercax. I think I think he's been playing well. Uh, with the fast scores, I think it could do, do pretty well. Well, yeah, that's uh, my thoughts on the draw. Now we're going to go to the courts uh, for the first time here. Uh, Mark is going to practice with GoFun today. We're just going to hang out for a little bit. So let's get out there.
Nice. I don't have anything to say, Sarah. So, what are we doing? Well, we're going to the courts. It's time to get ready for Marcus's match. Right, Coz? We're locking the f in right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's great content right there. There you go. Okay, so we're back today, uh, the day after Marcos played his singles match against Francis. Uh, it was a hell of a match. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to win that, but man, the margins were so small. Uh, he always felt like he was right there, ready to like open the door and, and run with the match, but like he couldn't really, you know, get the break. Uh, Tiafo served unbelievable when it mattered. Like I don't, I, he didn't miss like a first serve on break point, so it was really difficult to, to you know, to to get that um, scoreboard pressure. Like Marcos was actually always behind. He was never in front um, in, the, in the scoreboard. Um, and that, that, you know, puts a little bit of pressure on yourself, frees up the opponent a little bit. But man, uh, tough. It was a tough match. It was a good match. It was high quality. Uh, conditions were kind of, kind of tough there because it was windy and swirly. Um, so yeah, it was, it was good. It was fun. Um, fortunately, I uh, didn't get the win, but definitely building on that, that match. But some final thoughts here on this vlog. You know, after watching a lot of matches this, this week, um, it was good as a, a good reminder of how important first serves are. Oh my God. It's, the, the, the match is so reliant on, you know, the first, first serve performing well. Once that rally gets to four balls, serve, return, plus one, and plus one, if, if the point's neutral, you lost your advantage as a server right you just do and it, it, you know if you're missing too many first serves and if you're playing a couple games that you play too much with the second serves your chances of holding serve drop dramatically and one of those you know you, you get broken guy tees off on the serve for the rest of the set you lose the set so yeah man performing performance of first serve is so key here it's so key um, at this level and I'm at every level really but it was a good reminder watching you know again Marcos actually served really well, held very easily, but you know, a couple, couple games here that, you know, serve, first serve wasn't in that much, and you know, the, the opponent connects with a couple returns and you find yourself in a hole. Um, so, man, it's, you know, go practice your first serves. But overall, always a positive experience being out here in slams, meeting people. I've got a ton of people <laughs> to take pictures with me and, you know, recognizing from the channel, you could from my tennis HQ, yeah, that's me, that was me. Um, so, you know, it's kind of feel awkward still with that. It's kind of kind of weird, um, but I appreciate it. And it's, it's, it gives me a good understanding of our reach. Uh, I think we're reaching a lot of people and hopefully helping you guys uh, with your game. And not only getting better at tennis, but like I want people to like tennis more. I feel like tennis is kind of losing a little bit of its passion um, and I, I want to hopefully bring that back uh, however I can. I try with my channel, I can't really do everything on my own, but uh, that's what I try to do. So not only teach you guys, you know, good tennis, but hopefully, you know, make you guys enjoy tennis more and get more people to play tennis. That's really my goal. And I almost forgot, wow, so many upsets this week. What's going on? Um, who's gonna win this? I feel like people people are just dropping left and right on the men's side, on the women's side. Uh, the high seeds are, a lot of them are gone. Um, it's very interesting in how the second week, week is going to play out. Who, who do you guys think is going to win this? Men, men, male and female? Leave a comment below with your predictions. Thanks for watching the vlog. Also let me know in the comments if you think uh, vlogs are fun, if you're, if, if you're interested in this type of content. Uh, it's definitely a challenge for me, but I, you know, I'm down for it if, uh, if this is something you guys want to watch more. And I'll see you guys on the next one.